Hi there, I'm Alison Crouch from Boomerang Pilates and the Move Smart Teacher Training Program. And today we're gonna to talk about unilateral rib breathing. So breathing into one side of your rib cage and breathing into the other side of your rib cage. Um, it's a little bit of a tricky skill and it's fantastic for increasing your rib mobility and your ability to, um, to take lots of breath in easily and with no stress or no strain. Um, so you can just take a look, I'm going to show it to you and then I'm going to have you lie down and I would rather you not actually watch the video for the first little bit, just listen to my voice. But to get a sense of what you're going to do, you're going to breathe into one side of your rib cage and exhale and then breathe into the other side of your rib cage and then exhale. So you can see that like one side of my rib cage is moving at a time, right? I can, I can layer them up. Do them both together and I can do one at a time. So I don't expect everybody necessarily to be able to do it right off the bat but it's a really cool breathing um, practice to add into whatever other breathing practices you have. So we're going to start with what I call the licorice stick breathing and I'm going to have you lie down. So at this point you don't need to watch me anymore you can just listen to the instructions. You want to get yourself nice and comfortable, so maybe a little bit of something behind your head, um, knees bent or flat, whatever feels better for you. And then wrap your hands around your ribs in whatever way feels comfortable for you. So for some people that will be thumbs back behind the ribs and fingers at the front. For some people that will be thumbs and fingers together wrapped around the sides of the ribs. It might even be arms crossed and left hand on the right side of the ribs and right hand on the left. Whatever feels like it's not going to strain or stress your neck and shoulders. So once you get yourself nicely settled there, picture a licorice stick. Can you picture like those red licorice sticks? They have a bit of a twist in them. Imagine that each one of your ribs, which has a bit of a, a twist built into the, into the bones, one of the things that makes them so lovely and pliable. Each one of your ribs is a licorice stick and it attaches to your spine at the back and then it comes around, each one of them comes around and has a little quickie attachment point to your sternum, to your breastplate at the front. So there you are, you're lying on your back, you're totally relaxed, you have replaced your ribs with red licorice sticks and as you breathe in, think about unhooking the, um, the little joint connections of the licorice sticks as you breathe in, the licorice sticks roll out to the side. So let's start with your right side. Breathe in and imagine the licorice sticks rolling out to the right so that as you breathe, there's all this space being created on your right side. And as you exhale, you're rolling the licorice sticks back into center to re-hook onto your sternum. And then shift over to your left. Breathe into the left side of your ribs. Think of unhooking your licorice stick ribs and sliding them out towards the floor and on the exhale, rolling them back in. Shift from side to side, breathe at your own pace and be aware that it could be quite different from one side to the other, both in terms of the muscle capacity, the, the pliability or the strength of the muscles, but also your, your connection, your ability to, to communicate with the muscles in your torso. Your heart is on one side and not on the other. Your diaphragm is slightly differently shaped from one side to the other. There are asymmetries all through our bodies and so breathing is not necessarily going to be symmetrical from side to side. If this image works for you, that's great. You can carry on breathing left side, right side, unhooking and rehooking your licorice sticks as you go. If that image does not make sense for you, and there are lots of people for whom it doesn't, Think instead about expanding from the inside. So imagine you have two balloons, one on the right and one on the left. And as you breathe in, you are expanding only the balloon on that one side and then dropping that balloon and softening it again. And then breathing only into the balloon on the other side. Opening out the ribs and sliding them back in. And play with that one. And even if the licorice stick did work for you, Try the balloon, see if it maybe works better. So maybe three or four more breaths on each side. Inhaling through your nose. Experimenting as you exhale, does it work better to breathe out through your nose? And on the next breath, try breathing out through your mouth with no sound. So it's just a, it's just a gentle exhale. And you can try doing the breath, the, the traditional Pilates breath, where you purse your lips a little bit and you create a so there's a little bit of gentle 
resistance to your exhale. Now that you've done that, just take a nice easy breath in, both sides of the ribs moving evenly and equally, both lungs moving evenly and equally, and seeing how that feels, seeing if you feel a different sense of the capacity for your breath than you normally have. And then you can sit yourself up. And it's different when you do it sitting up. And now you can look at me because I'm here in front of you again. And if it's practical for you to wrap your hands around the sides of your ribs, great. If when you do that, you really hike your shoulders up, then you can drop your hands down this way, or you can get um, a TheraBand, a stretchy band or a pair of tights or something, and tie them around your ribs so that you get a nice sense of the, where your ribs are in space. And then we're gonna practice exactly the same thing sitting up. So you're gonna breathe into one side of your rib cage and see if you can really feel it expanding into your hands and then draw the air out so that your ribs slide back into center. Change over, same thing, other side. Breathe in and on the exhale, slide the air back out. And again, on the one side. And exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. So I really feel the difference. I move much more easily on my left side than I do on my right. I can feel that it's smoother and more pliable. It makes more sense in my brain. So there's no, there's no reason why you might, find, might not find the same thing as me, that there's more movement on one side than the other. It's totally fine. Then we're gonna add a little bit more movement, not so much in the breath, but in the actual physical body. So you're gonna bring your arms up, you're gonna hold onto your uh, left wrist with your right hand, bringing your arms not all the way overhead, but slightly in front of your face. You're gonna inhale and curve yourself over to the right, opening up this whole line through the back of your arm, through the underarm, and down through the sides of the ribs, right? Where, where we've just been trying to breathe. And then exhale, and stack yourself back up, change hands. Pull your right arm, curve over to the left, so you're providing this little bit of gentle traction, and exhale and stack back up, and shift. Inhale, curve over to the side, exhale, come back over to center, and again, slide back up. Take note of whether you're inclined to twist as you curve. Can you imagine you're between two sheets of glass and you can't turn in, you can't turn back, you're just staying right on center. One more, curving over to the left, finding length again through the back of the arm, the back of the underarm, down through the side of the ribs and the waist, and stack back up. Bring your arms back down, fold your hands around the sides of your ribs, relax your shoulders, relax your neck, and then again, breathe into one side, and let it all out. One more. And exhale. And this time, instead of doing one side and then the other, we're gonna add them. So you're gonna breathe into one side, hold that open, breathe into the other side. And then close the first side, close the second side. It's a great parlor trick. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe out. Now go the other side. Breathe into the first side. Breathe into the second side. Close the first side. Close the second side. And again on this side. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Let your arms and shoulders relax. Let your neck relax. Let your head slide down so you find a little extra space through the back of your neck without letting the rest of your spine change position and breathe in here, both sides of the ribs, evenly and equally. And exhale. Breathe it all the way. Feel your diaphragm snuggling up inside your rib cage to help expel the air. Maybe feeling your core and pelvic floor respond. Let your eyes float back up to the horizon line. Let your shoulders and your ribs relax and then have a lovely day. And really, as you go through the rest of your day, see if you can feel a little bit more, a little more space, a little more space that lets you breathe around the circumference of your rib cage without having to interrupt the nice, graceful flow of your neck and shoulders. And have a wonderful day. If you like these videos, come on down. Let me know what else you would like to learn about or if you have any questions or comments. Take care and see you next time.